All right, guys, I'm here in the Dubai desert. It's winter, but the weather is still nice. In this tutorial, I show you all the settings of the Millimus Algo newest version 4.3. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is click on the settings wheel here at the top left on the mobile phone. It's the same. You will see a settings wheel. If you don't see the name, you have to click on the arrow here. Now click on the settings wheel. The first thing is the sensitivity. The sensitivity controls the buy and sell signals frequency. I will show you an example. Sensitivity 1.1. As you can see, we have now more false signals on the chart. Let's test the value for now we have less signals. But as you can see here in this example, the buy signal appeared very late. So I will just go back to the value 2.5, which is our default value. And you can experiment on your own. The next one is the signals type. All signals means it will show everything on the chart. Buy signals, sell signals, smart buy signals. Now I will show you a chart that explains exactly what the different signal types are. Now, if we change the chart to smart signals, it will show only the signals with the trend direction. Means you will see these two will disappear because the sell signal was on the bullish side. The buy signal was on the short side. These two are gone. What are we seeing here? The smart buy signal. Why? Because the candle closed above the moving average. You can also control the smart buy signals by changing the moving average value. Now with the moving average value on 50, you will see we have here a smart buy signal, here a smart sell signal. Why? Because the smart sell closed below the moving average and the smart buy closed above the moving average. So with this value, you can control the smart signals too but I leave it on the default value on 200. The smart plus signals give you more confirmations and only appear when we have all the confirmations on the chart, like the candlestick color, the trend ribbon color, and the cars trend line. Then we have a smart plus signal and it can help you to get more confident entries. Like you can see here, it matched and boom, it went down. Here we have another smart plus signal, pull back in the ribbon and it went down and another one, here we have a smart plus buy signal, candle close, boom. Another one, pull back into the ribbon, boom. That's how you can use it. I have it on all signals because I want to see every signal on the chart. You can, of course, just use smart signals or smart plus signals. So what you want to do also is with the signals, you want to wait for a candle close. Don't enter if you see the sell signal. You wait for the candle close, you check your confirmations, and then you can enter, right? So here we have a smart buy. We don't enter during the candle because the candle can be different. If you are on the one hour chart, the candle can change. So we need to wait. The candle with the signal closes, and then we have a confirmation about the signal. The trend ribbon is the next one. What does it mean? It is another confirmation. So we have a buy signal here, but the trend ribbon is still red. Turns green, we have more confirmation, we have a pullback into the ribbon and the price jumps out of the ribbon. Think of it like a rubber band. If the price is far away from the trend ribbon, then you want to wait at least for a pullback into the ribbon. Like here, the price moves away and comes back into the ribbon. The price moves away and comes back into the ribbon. The wider the ribbons are, the stronger the trend. The closer the lines are, it indicates a change in the direction or it can indicate that the market is flat at the moment. The cow's trend line is this line here. When the cow's trend line is flat, it indicates sideways movement. If the cow's trend line moves, it indicates a trend. Green is for bullish, red is for bearish. Then we have the trend cloud, which is this out here and it's more long-term related. So. You can see here the trend cloud is, was green. So you just look for the buy signals. We have a sell signal with the trend cloud. You would ignore it because the trend cloud is green. The next one is the order block setting. I show you how the chart looks without anything. And you might think, oh yeah, we have bullish candles. I might enter here. But if you activate the Minimus Algo order block setting, you will see that we have a resistance here. 
And now see what the price does. It can push through the order block. The next thing is we have a sell signal and what happens? The price goes down. So this is how you can use the order block setting, have another confirmation for the signals. We just don't only trade buy and sell signals. We need more confirmations. And the order block setting is another confirmation for your trades. The next setting is the moving average setting. If you are above the moving average, it's green. If we are below the moving average, the line becomes red and we are looking for bearish setups. Of course, you can take sales above it. But for beginners, I recommend to just go with the trend. In this case, you will see the moving average is green. It's long. The moving average is red. We are short. The next setting is the candlestick coloring. We have three types, clean scalper, trend ribbon and moving average. I use the clean scalper most of the time because it gives me an additional confirmation. So if it's green, it's bullish. If it's red, it's bearish. And if it's purple, it's moving sideways or it is in a transition from red to green. The trend ribbon setting colors the candlesticks exactly like the trend ribbon. And the moving average colors the candlesticks like the moving average. So if we are on this side, the candlesticks become red. If we are on the bullish side, the candlesticks become green. Then we have the setting show overbought, oversold. It means you will see a green background. See, it means the market becomes overbought. After that, burnt, the price goes down. And the same thing is here. Red means oversold. We had a small correction here and it went down again. Then you see another oversold background. Boom, the price goes up again, but continues with the trend. It's an indication for you. Now to the setting channel breakout. As the name says, you trade breakouts with this setting. Like here, you see the candlestick pushes through the channel with the green candle coloring. Boom, you have your trade here. Here the same. Breakout, retest, retest, and boom, it goes up. And the same on the other side. Every time price pushes through the channel breakout, it goes down. This is how you use the channel breakout. And if you don't want to see the buy and sell signals, you click on turn signals off, which will turn all labels with buy and sell completely off. Now let's move on to the trend dashboard. You can turn it on or off here. I have it now in the middle. You can change the position here. Volatility low means there is not much going on on the market. The volume is low. So you want to wait at least to have medium, high or very high here in the trend dashboard. The RSI is the classic one. Above 50, it's bullish. You see the color is green. And below 50, it's red and it's bearish. Here are the different time frames. You can have a quick overview over the time frames without changing the time frame. So if I'm on the five minute chart, I can see we are bullish on the higher time frames. The two hour and the one hour is bearish. And let's say the three minute, five minute is bearish. The higher time frames are bullish. So you can wait for a bullish signal because the higher time frames are bullish. That's how we can use it. And everything is red. You don't want to take long positions. You can check if we have a long position. Let's say everything is red. You see a buy position. You don't enter. You wait till you have a new fresh sell signal and then you can enter the sell signal because you are with the trend direction and with the higher time frames so your signal is more powerful and the last setting is the one minute hawk strategy you can activate and deactivate from here you can find the information in our vip telegram channel or on the documentation pages for it and in the style tabs here, you can change the color and you can customize the indicator even more. If you don't have the indicator access, you can get it through our website, milliemoves.com. Click on get indicator access, select the plan, and you will instantly get access to your TradingView account. And I get this question a lot. Do I need a pro plan on TradingView? No, a free plan works fine. Just make sure to enter your TradingView username correctly during the checkout and the bot will give you instant access. 
See you soon. And if you have any questions, you can join our free Telegram group and ask there or leave a comment below. I'm happy to help. See you soon.